Good morning, everyone. This is Saturday, the third week after the Epiphany, January 29. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. I call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, O oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches, that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. According to your judgments, give me life. They draw near, who in malice persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. O God of my ancestors and Lord of mercy, who have made all things by your word, and by your wisdom have formed humankind to have dominion over the creatures you have made and rule the world in holiness and righteousness and pronounce judgment in uprightness of soul. Give me the wisdom that sits by your throne and do not reject me from among your servants, for I am your servant the son of your handmaid, a man who is weak and short-lived, with little understanding of judgment and laws, for even one who is perfect among human beings will be regarded as nothing without the wisdom that comes from you. With you is wisdom, she who knows your works and was present when you made the world. She understands what is pleasing in your sight and what is right according to your commandments. Send her forth from the holy heavens and from the throne of your glory send her, that she may labor at my side and that I may learn what is pleasing to you, for she knows and understands all things. And she will guide me wisely in my actions and guard me with her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let them vanish like smoke when the wind drives it away. As the wax melts at the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name. Rejoice before him, father of orphans, defender of widows. God in his holy habitation. God gives the solitary a home and brings prisoners into freedom. But the rebels shall live in dry places. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the skies poured down rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent a gracious rain, O oh God, upon your inheritance. You refreshed the land when it was weary. Your people found their home in it. In your goodness, O oh God, you have made provision for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of women who bore the tidings. King with their armies are fleeing away. The women at home are dividing the spoils. Though you lingered among the sheepfolds, you shall be like a dove whose wings are covered with silver, whose feathers are like green gold. When the Almighty scattered kings, it was like snow falling in Zalman. O mighty mountain, O hill of Bashan, O rugged mountain, O hill of Bashan, why do you look with envy, O rugged mountain, at the hill which God chose for his resting place? Truly, the Lord will dwell there forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Lord comes in holiness from Sinai. You have gone up on high and led captivity captive. You have received gifts even from your enemies, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation, who bears our burdens. He is our God, the God of our salvation. God is the Lord by whom we escape death. God shall crush the heads of his enemies and the hairy scalp of those who go on still in their wickedness. The Lord has said, I will bring them back from Bashan. I will bring them back from the depths of the sea that your foot may be dipped in blood, the tongues of your dogs in the blood of your enemies. They see your procession, O God your procession into the sanctuary, my God and my King. The singers go before, musicians follow after. In the midst of maidens playing upon the hand drums, bless God in the congregation. Bless the Lord, you that are of the fountain of Israel. There is Benjamin, least of the tribes, at the head the princes of Judah in a company, the princes of Zebulon and Naphtali. Send forth your strength, O God. Establish, O God, what you have wrought for us. Kings shall bring gifts to you. For your temple's sake at Jerusalem, rebuke the wild beast of the needs of the reeds and the peoples a herd of wild bull, bulls with its calves. Trample down those who lust after silver. Scatter the peoples that delight in war. Let tribute be brought out of Egypt. Let Ethiopia stretch out her hands to God. 
Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. He rides in the heavens, the ancient heavens. He sends forth his voice, his mighty voice. Ascribe power to God. His majesty is over Israel. His strength is in the skies. How wonderful is God in his holy places. The God of Israel, giving strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the oaks of Mamre as he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. He looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them and bowed down to the ground. He said, My Lord, if I find favor with you, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. Let me bring a little bread that you may refresh yourselves and after that you may pass on since you have come to your servant. So they said, Do as you have said. And Abraham hastened into the tent to Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of choice flour, knead it, and make cakes. Abraham ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the servant who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk and the calf that he had prepared and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree while they ate. They said to him, Where is your wife Sarah? And he said, There in the tent. Then one said, I will surely return to you in due season, and your wife Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent entrance behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in age. It had ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. So Sarah laughed to herself, saying, After I have grown old and my husband is old, shall I have pleasure? The Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Shall I indeed bear a child now that I am old? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? At the set time I will return to you in due season, and Sarah shall have a son. But Sarah denied, saying, I did not laugh, for she was afraid. He said, Oh, yes, you did laugh. Then the men set out from there, and they looked toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to set them on their way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Virgin Mother of God, he whom the whole world cannot contain, cloistered himself with your womb, made man for us. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples, but over you the Lord will rise and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open by day or night. They will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light 
and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Virgin Mary, Mother of God, he whom the whole world cannot contain cloistered himself with your womb, made man for us. Our second reading is from the book of Hebrews. For if we willfully persist in sin after having received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful prospect of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has violated the law of Moses dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by those who have spurned the Son of God, profaned the blood of the covenant by which they were sanctified, and outraged the Spirit of grace? For we know the one who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But recall those earlier days when after you had been enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with sufferings, sometimes being publicly exposed to abuse and persecution and sometimes being partners with those so treated. For you had compassion for those who were in prison, and you cheerfully accepted the plundering of your possessions, knowing that you yourselves possessed something better and more lasting. Do not, therefore, abandon that confidence of yours. It brings a great reward, for you need endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. For yet, in a very little while, the one who is coming will come and will not delay, but my righteous one will live by faith. My soul takes no pleasure in anyone who shrinks back, but we are not among those who shrink back and so are lost, but among those who have faith and are so saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are you, O Mary, through you your son gave the first of his signs. The bridegroom prepared the new wine for his bride. Through you the disciples learned to believe in their master. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Mary, through you your Son gave the first of his signs. The bridegroom prepared the new wine for his bride. Through you the disciples learned to believe in their Master. Alleluia. A reading from the Revelations of Divine Love by Julian of Norwich. 
and he showed me more, a little thing the size of a hazelnut on the palm of my hand, round like a ball. I looked at it thoughtfully and wondered, what is this? And the answer came, it is all that I made. I marveled that it continued to exist and did not suddenly disintegrate. It was so small. And again, my mind supplied the answer. It exists both now and forever because God loves it. In short, everything owes its existence to the love of God. This is his meaning as if to say, see, I have done all this long before your prayers, and now you exist and pray to me. He means that we ought to know that the greatest deeds are already done, as Holy Church teaches. From the time these things were first revealed, I had often wanted to know what was our Lord's meaning. It was more than 15 years after that, I was answered in my spirit's understanding. You would know our Lord's meaning in this thing? Know it well. Love was his meaning. So it was that I learned that love was our Lord's meaning. And I saw for certain, both here and elsewhere, that before he ever made us, God loved us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation, that we and the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you, bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your intercessions, petitions, and thanksgivings. Gracious God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life. Bless all those who are ill this day. Be with those who are dying. Bless our church family near and far. I pray for the healing of Mother Jo at St. Andrews by the Sea in Destin. Pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray for those who are experiencing COVID as well as those recovering. Be with their caregivers. We thank you. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The angel of the Lord announced unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, announced by the message of an angel to the Virgin Mary, so by his cross and passion, 
we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday for morning prayer. And I wish you all a great day. Be well. Goodbye.